Hello, my name is Graham Stark. I run virtual words research and teach at the UK's Open University. Welcome to my short talk on Scott Ben, American Simulation Tax Benefit Model for Scotland. So what's this all about? The best way in is probably with a couple of examples. The Scottish Child Payment. The Scottish Government, worried about an increase in child poverty, decides to double the value of its flagship anti-poverty cash benefit, the Scottish Child Payment. Universal basic income. Some commentators, seeing the complexity of the benefit system, advocate sweeping it all away and replacing it with a single, no-strings payment to everybody, a universal income. What we'd want to know about some change. How much does it cost? What kinds of families are most affected? Would people be more or less likely to work or take risks afterwards? Does the change make society more or less equal or worse in poverty? What's needed to answer those things? Well, we need to encode the rules of the system, and the rules are huge. This is a picture of the Tully Skies, the standard reference to the UK and Scotland tax system. That's over a foot high. The same for the benefit system. We de Secondly, we need data. We use data from the Family Resources Survey, FRS. Each year, the UK Statistics Authority interviews 25,000 households, recording detailed information on the incomes, demographics, work history, health, education of all the household members. The model then runs over all the data, applying to each person its encoding of these rules. This gives us estimates of liability to taxes and entitlement to benefits for each household. You gross up these figures to get a national total. The model package, the model is a package, though not yet in the general registry. Internally, it's broken down into a collection of sub-modules, for example, one for a household, one to, to capture all the fiscal system parameters, tax rates and so on, to take those two things and calculate means-tested benefits, one to do income tax and so on and so forth. As well as the model itself, I've written some generic packages that help with this kind of modelling. All these are in the general regis registry. There's one to do budget constraints. We won't have time to go into that one here. There's one to do data weighting. If you've used our survey pass package, it's a kind of analogue of that. And there's one to calculate different measures of poverty and inequality. Now back to our examples. <coughs> Let's use the model to analyse this Scottish child payment increase. Here's a simple web front end to the model, written in Dash. And on this side, we've got um, some basic controls for the income tax system, so we can pay for whatever we're doing. In the middle, we've got uh, uh, the, the national insurance system, which is a uh, payroll tax. And in this side, we've got just a few of the uh, um, parameters needed to control the benefit system, some of the main ones. And below, we've got some basic output, a table of gainers and losers, a uh, cost table, of uh, different types, costs of different parts of the benefit and tax system. Uh, a simple table giving indicators of um, the incentive effects of the changing. We won't have time to go into that in any detail. Some simple measures of poverty, some mes simple measures of inequality, and a simple graph of inequality. So the change we want to do it concerns these two uh, parameters here, the Scottish Child Payment, which under this proposal moves from £10 to £20, and further, it's extended from uh, just being applicable to those under the age of six to everyone under the age of 16, every child under the age of 16. So this slider controls that. So that, that is how we model that change. And we'll submit that. It will take a few seconds to run. To save time, here is one I prepared earlier with the results of that. Um, and you can see that 16% of the population are gaining. This, this graph here shows uh, the gains of the bottom 10% of the population up to the richest 10%, and you can see that most of the gains are to the bottom and none to the top. We can see here that the total cost of the scheme is about £389 million. That's compared to about £13 billion uh, raised in income tax. It has no real effect on marginal tax on, on incentives to work. And the, the figures for poverty... Uh, are all in green, they all go the right way, so there's a reduction in uh, head count, in total numbers in poverty and numbers of children in poverty, which is here, and likewise uh, inequality goes the right way. So that's a very brief, uh, cheap and cheerful uh, sim um, uh, analysis of that, that real life change. It just took a few minutes. The, the other thing we were going to look at is um, the introduction of a basic income.
And we have a special, another specialized model for this. Um, here's the income tax thing you've seen before. And instead of all that uh, original benefit stuff and national insurance stuff, we've just got some parameters for this basic income thing. And in the basic income, we're modeling uh, adult gets that uh, per year, a pensioner gets that, and each child gets that. And there's some controls over here. We're going to take all the means tested benefit system that we have at the moment, the income related stuff, and abolish it completely. And we're going to, so that's the change we're going to model here. This one works slightly differently and it caches the results so they come up very quickly. Um, one other difference is we've got these examples here uh, of different families. Um, that's because we're using this as teaching and we found that um, students relate to this better with uh, concrete examples rather than simply with... Uh, so, for example, this is a breakdown of how a family with £12,000 a year, which is very low wage in the UK, and two children would be affected by these things. They would gain from the basic income and they would lose child benefits. But overall, they would gain, whereas this unemployed couple would lose. If we look at the distribution of the effect of that, because we've got rid of the means-tested benefits, which mainly affect help those on low incomes. Um, we're actually producing average losses for the bottom decile here because they're no longer getting that and the uh, basic income isn't quite enough to compensate for that. And there are gains thereafter all the way up because people in top deciles don't normally get me um, significant amounts of benefits and now they do. And because of that, the change is very expensive. It's going to cost uh, just over 12 billion, which uh, if you recall is about the total amount that uh, you, uh, Scotland raises in income tax. It has a very complicated effect on work incentives over here. Um, on poverty, because it's producing average losses for the bottom deciles, um, the poverty rates actually go in the wrong direction here. Um, and on inequality, because there are gains at the top and losses at the bottom, uh, standard measures of inequality go kind of the wrong way there in red for worsening. So, um, yeah, so it's more problematic than you might think to introduce something like that. Uh, finally, things to do. I'd love a second page of ISO in the code. There's some packages I'd like uh, um, built in. Uh, I'd like a synthetic data set so I can distribute the data, set, data with the code. And finally, thanks so much for your time. Um, here are some links to the models and the code me and my colleagues do. Thank you very much.